Hey, Missy. Missy. Don't ignore me. Right? I see fires, smoke signals. So I gotta put that generator away. So notice the silver pellet has been moved and so has thunder. Uh, so I'm gonna make a quick video before I, uh, before that sun goes down, it's like four o'clock. So did a lot of leaves today, not here obviously. Hey Missy, you didn't do any leaves around here today. You said you were going to help out. I think you lied. Alright, okay, so. My, okay, day four or five with the uh, silver pellet. And as of today, the car has at least paid for itself. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Missy, what do you think about that? She doesn't care. But I'm going to be, guys, you know, on this nice sunny afternoon, noon. I think it's time for a new, I'm going to change my ways. Yes, hear me out. And I know you guys might not believe this, but I'm going to take care of this thing pretty good. It, uh, it needs things. I mean, it, uh, there's other, other than the obvious, the brakes, uh, you know, are kind of, you know, they're spongy, but they're there. Uh, rear wheel bearings, probably the exhaust. Once I get all that, they, like it seems to run really good. But uh, one thing I noticed going from the CRV to trucks, all my trucks, one truck, two truck, three truck, four truck. Uh, is that uh, the limited space in it? Like, yeah, my buddy's uh, Honda Civic has is a four door, and you could really notice the difference here. Uh, and even the CRV had a lot more room, so this thing is really packed. But I'm not gonna like make it messy and full of tools and stuff like that, like I did last. I'm gonna take good care of it this time. Oh, well, I thought about trying. Yeah, so anyway, uh, that, that's what you can fit in there, anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> I got to put a really ridiculous whale tail on this thing at some point. If I can get one cheap enough. All right, so, <laughs> chainsaws in the back, gas and oil. I guess I can take the gas out. Uh, yeah, so, basically, uh... <laughs> The, uh, it's it's uh, an okay little work vehicle to get back and forth, but it does not have a lot of room. Like it doesn't take much to fill that that back area, seat area. Uh, got a little bit of gas left. I ha almost had the whipper snipper looked at the other the other day, but uh, the shop wasn't open. The still shop wasn't open. I guess they're going on uh, winter hours or whatever. So I'm just trying to get some stuff put away for the winter. I was going to get to some scrap today, but we ended up uh, extending our job today, so gonna get my chainsaws out so mini beast and I'll tell you what happened uh, with my other chainsaw in a moment there's some traps got to keep these sides uh, I got two traps out uh, my neighbor I'm not sure what's going on with my neighbor if he's gonna be moving or not because he's got him and his wife just bought a house in town and i'm not sure what he's doing here so i, I might end up with new neighbors but he's like uh he goes reggie he says those beavers are gonna be a problem again this year do you want to come trap beavers i said yeah well i got a few people on you know on the list ahead of you but uh otherwise yes and uh, this will be the star of today's topic one thing about having a car, you don't have a tailgate anymore to throw your chainsaws on. That's very sad. With no tailgate to put your chainsaws on. Wait, I got a solution. Trunk it is. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about this in a second. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, obviously, I won't be trapping beavers on me because uh, the dam broke. The damn, damn, damn broke the the damn broke damn uh anyway um so yeah i'm not sure what the what i'm gonna do if i do trap for him it's on the creek so i've got say mid-november till the water starts getting really high and then sometime in december i think what they do is north of here is they start letting water go for the winter uh, so it doesn't back up as much and, uh, water gets really high. 
And when it gets really high, you lose your traps because you put your trap there, but then the water comes out to here. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens with that. But I got uh, three people uh, for beaver trap anyway. So let's have a look at our chain. Some of you think this chain is done. I say you're a quitter. Uh, actually, this chain, it cuts okay. It's it's cutting crooked now, so I, I got to uh, just get the sharpen on the... the which way is it cutting? I think it's cutting this way. So I got to, I've over sharpened it on one side and I got to over co correct sharpen it the other way. But uh, no, I cut all day there yesterday through the chain three times yesterday on this sucker. But uh, if you saw, I should have brought a little stick with me to show you guys what I was cutting into. It's like a, a horn beam, ironwood kind of, it's not that, but it's, it's, it's as hard as that. So, uh, you know, the stuff they make rolling pins out of? You know for the baking like harder than that and i it's stuff about that big uh real scraggly some sort of a it's not a lilac bush but it's like a lilac bush in scraggle but just it's like made out of ironwood <laughs> you know like it's and this thing was just bouncing off it it was the, the roughest day for this poor little saw but i got a cut so whatever um and then i cut probably God knows how many uh, little spruce there the other day with it. So this chainsaw is now another hundred bucks and this thing will have earned its keep four times. That's awesome. I paid 300 for it in, in labor and I do own it now. Uh, I'm all caught up on the, on that labor stuff. So that, that's really good. How am I doing for time? Uh, not too bad. So, yeah. So, uh, but I almost made a fatal mistake with this thing. Fatal. Uh, the tip, which comes to the tip of the day, um, or should I put that in another video? I'm going to put that in another video, but anyway, yeah. So this chain is, it's not done It's far from done. I mean, look how much tooth you got left, but my tooth, the teeth are kind of rounded, but I, I do have to give this to my dad pretty soon. I thought I was going to give it to him at the end of the month, but I ended up got away with the weather yesterday and it was beautiful yesterday. Beautiful again today, chilly, but beautiful. Uh, so I spent all day cutting with this yesterday. Great little saw to work with. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the chain's still good. It just needs to be given a really good evened out sharpen. And, uh, it's amazing. Like a lot of people would throw a chain away by now. I'm like, no, <laughs> keep, keep cutting. Uh, update on the 034. Uh, you probably saw the little quick little video I had on that. That was my friend, John. Uh, it, it, he lent me that saw to see if I want to buy it from him. I might be committed to it because I may have blown it up. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I don't know if something really bad happened to it. I, I cut about maybe eight blocks with it. Big size blocks. Maybe not quite as big as these maples. It was uh, either basswood or a poplar. I can't remember what it is over there. But um, almost the size of those maples there. And you can see the bike for comparison uh so almost the size of the tires on that and those are 26 inch tires so almost that big i cut about eight of them and it was cutting okay it was cutting a little bit crooked but uh, it was throwing out some pretty decent chips it was cutting good uh, i figured out why it idled so fast a on the 034 oh there's my nephew <laughs> uh I'll, I'll just finish up the bit. hey buddy yeah what do you got there Oh. Oh, oh, that's like Nerf Supreme. I'll be in there in a second. Yeah. A anyway. Uh, where was it? Yeah. So the old three four. When I started, it was just it just started running really really, really high, right? And what it has, it has a choke. Uh, like like still is just uh husky is just choke on off right that that's all you got with a husky uh which is nice and simple for some people like that um but with a still you always have like 10 settings this one has uh on the 034s which is i think a 60 cc saw it has a choke a high idle run position i know weird and that's what it was on and then one more click is a normal run so that's why it was doing that so once i found out where to put the thing it actually ran really good so i let the saw warm up because it was an old saw it hadn't been run in a while and whatever but it was it was tuned up last year whatever and it ran great for about eight blocks and then as i was cutting it was like 
something like that. And you could hear something ring, ringing in the exhaust. So I don't know if it blew a ring or whatever, but it made a hell of a racket. It's, I, I, I'm thinking it just blew out the baffle or possibly the... Um, yeah, the little, uh, what's called the diaphragm there. So hopefully it's only something like that. So hopefully I'm not into it for too much because I don't know how much he wanted for that saw and hopefully not very much if, if he did. Uh, it is an old saw, so. But I don't want to have to buy, this time of year in October, November, I don't want to have to buy a broken saw. <laughs> That's why I don't like to borrow anybody's anything. Uh, you know, whatever. So I gave it back to him. I'll find out next week. Uh, I got a little job to finish up with him and, uh, I'll find out what happens to the 034. But anyway, yeah, with this, yeah, the chain's still, still going. So I'm going to give it a good, uh, I mean, I was a little bit rough on it. So that's why it's loose right now. And it's a good idea to loosen your chain when you're done with it anyway, when it's hot. So I, I made a video on that, but I'm going to tell you about a, an almost fatal flaw that I made in the next video.